Just because I have a business doesn't mean I have all the answers. What I do have though is faith. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to my channel so i was just applying my selenite lip gloss this one is kind of old so the label is peeling off a little bit but for those of you guys who are new my name is ashley aka shelly's daughter i'm the owner of shelly's daughter beauty and today's video i'm going to be doing a kind of a updated how my business is organized now so how i organize my business is part two like an updated how i have my business organized to date i started my business back in october of 2019 so since then my setup is pretty much similar but a little bit different so um i'm going to show you guys how i have that organized um if you guys are new make sure sorry my back is itching and I have on these um, these press-on nails from Lynn Cosmetics, so I'm able to scratch my back really, really good right now. It feels good. But yeah, um, I just decided to do an updated video for you guys who are up and coming business owners, or you guys are interested in you know starting a lip gloss business and you don't really know how to set up your workspace with limited space because my office is in my bedroom. I do have it separated, like my bed is behind the camera, kind of far away, but um, I have my room set up in a way so where I can have my workspace and my room temporarily. This is just, sorry, my dogs are barking. This is a temporary setup until I move, which I'm not sure exactly when I'll be moving. Um, I'm thinking hopefully by the beginning of next year, I'll be moving so then I'll have my own office space, but Wow, bro. <laughs> Let me go close my door. But yeah, so hopefully by next year, I'll be moved out of this place, have my own office set up. But until then, this is my current setup and I just wanna share that with you guys so hopefully it's helpful. If you guys like videos like this, make sure you give me a thumbs up and um, stay tuned if you guys wanna see how I have my business organized. Let's get into it. A really quick disclaimer before we get into this video. Um, I'm just showing you guys how I have my business organized. I'm not necessarily telling you guys what to do. This is just me showing you guys my business setup to hopefully inspire someone. Because I know a lot of people like they post their business setup and it looks very extravagant. And um, you know, if you're just starting out, it feels like a lot to think that you need to have that exact setup that somebody else has. You don't need to have that same exact setup somebody else has you can start small and then expand your business like a lot of these people that are posting about their business they've been doing this for years so you guys are seeing it and thinking that oh they just blew up out of nowhere no they've been grinding and working for years and they started small too so you know you can start small and build your way up so don't be afraid to start your business just because of the lack of space that you may have you no know, we all got to start somewhere so just stay encouraged be motivated have faith you know plan everything out and start that business and another thing that i want to mention to you guys is that i love helping you guys and giving you guys advice but i can say this a million times that i'm not a business coach um and i say that because i get so many dms i get so many messages people like i get emails my emails are open for my customers but i still get emails people asking me for advice i don't have the time to help everybody i don't like i'm still learning i've been in business for less than a year my baby my business is less than a year old just because i have a business doesn't mean i have all the answers what I do have though is faith because I have faith and I believe in myself is the reason why I'm continuing to put myself out there and to believe in myself even though I don't have all the answers like you guys be asking me questions like y'all think and expect me to have all the answers I don't have all the answers I'm just sharing my journey to inspire you guys um I love you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video and showing me love I appreciate y'all so stay tuned <laughs> I'm so sorry if you guys could hear the noise in the background my boyfriend's playing his game right now and my roommates just got home so if you you can hear a lot of noise in the background i'm sorry about that but that's my vision board back there um i guess i can kind of share my vision board with you guys so this is my vision board right here and um like right here is because i'm a pescatarian so this is just a reminder for me to eat healthy um it says belize right here because my family is actually from belize but i've never been to belize and my goal is to definitely go there whenever everything gets open back up and we're able to travel like normal i definitely want to go to belize so that's one of my goals is to go to belize so these are different pictures of belize belize is a really really beautiful country it's really small it's in central america um for those of you guys who don't know but yeah so that's that and this is an example of how i want my next house to be whenever i move i want it to be open like this with a nice big backyard um you know two story i don't even know if you guys could see that hold on let me let me just flip the camera but yeah so that's like i really want like an open layout in the house that i move into so that's why I have that. And then I have like two pictures of a backyard because I really want some beautiful 
backyard when I move. Um, and this is just like, you know, just some motivation for me up there. Express yourself, inspire creation, live your best life, travel. Um, of course, my goal is to overall be an influencer <laughs> through chasing my dreams. But yeah, um, this is my vision board. And I also love to do yoga. So this is just a reminder for me to do yoga, um, feel good or look good, feel better. Just a little reminder. And then, yes, you guys, this is real money that I have on my wall i have this here as like a physical tangible reminder um to help me manifest some money on a regular this is just something that works for me because i'm very visual when it comes to just um manifesting things in my life so that's why i have that there and yeah you guys that's that but this is whenever i back up this is what the setup looks like it's not the best setup like i said or it's not the most professional setup but this is just how i have it set up at the moment and in that box right there is a couple of packages for my next promo video this box right here is where I keep all my, I'll show it to you guys. But yeah, and this box is here, here is where I keep like my, um, my bubble wrap, my little bubble mailer bags. I don't know what they're called, what are they called? Bubble pouches, that's what I put my lip gloss base in. Um, just more, more bubble wrap. I, what are these things called? I don't remember what they're called, but if, if I remember, I'm going to link it in the description box. I use these whenever I'm packing up my starter kits. If you guys saw that video, um, you guys will know. But I keep all of those in here. I just keep that tucked away in the cut right there. Why is there a pipette on the floor? <laughs> just throw that away. And then these are, what the, what do you call it? I can't even think right now. These are my priority boxes. I use the medium sized boxes. And then, um, I should have swept my floor before I started filming. But, um, yeah, these are my, my priority boxes. And this table right here, I have it here at the moment, but I usually have it tucked. It may seem like a really tight fit, but I usually have it tucked in this little cut right here. It's just a foldable table. I use this table whenever I'm working, uh, making lip gloss, fulfilling orders. I just set it up and wipe it down with my disinfectant wipes. And I use that to do my business stuff on. Um, and then this is my printer. You guys always ask me what kind of printer I use. I don't really recommend this printer because it's old. I don't even know how old this printer is. I had this printer years before I even decided to start my business um so I don't really know if it's even still available but it's all you guys do not need this printer as long as you have a um, inkjet or a laser printer you'll be fine to, to print out shipping labels just make sure it's compatible with whatever printer you get um but yeah that's that this order is sitting, sitting here because I email my customer to try to figure out what's going on with her shipping address so that's just sitting there um these are just some orders I have to do um dry erase marker you guys probably couldn't hear anything I was saying. If you couldn't, I'm so sorry. Um, but that's my dry erase board. I use that whenever I'm like doing my updated inventory, making lip gloss. I just write everything out on that board. It's erased right now because I just finished doing my my um restock, so I just erased everything off the board. Um, so let me back up a little bit so you guys can see that better. So this is the table. This is the main table with all my stuff on top. Um, so you guys always ask me where I get these uh these drawers but honestly they have them at Walmart they have stuff like this at Walmart this one my boyfriend got for me I don't know where he got it from so the sizing of the drawers are a little bit different this one's a really really deep drawer um but yeah my boyfriend got this for me or got this one for me from from somewhere I don't know where he got it this one's from Walmart and then this is actually two sets of drawer but I took away the middle piece so it can just be a six drawer instead but it was it was two three drawers if that makes sense so I just took the lid off and then attach it through the bottom because you can clip them together and they're stackable and those are from walmart as well as the sterile brand if i'm not mistaken is this brand it's the same brand all of them are the same exact brand but yeah so i'll start i guess i'll yeah i'll start here and then work my way over so this first drawer has my stuff for my starter kits so like my cake boxes my wrap my bags and things like that so hold on, let me hold this at a better angle so yeah i have my um I cut, I pre-cut this already, but this is just gift, is it called gift wrapped? Whatever that stuff is called, you guys know what this is. This is like birthday wrap stuff. I have it pre-cut in squares, so whenever I do my uh, starter kits, it's already easy and ready for me to put in there. Um, I have cake boxes, a bunch of cake boxes, and if you guys are wondering, I use the 8 by 8 by 4 um, inch cake boxes, and I have a bunch of them in stock right now. Cause as soon as I seen that Walmart had them back in stock, I made sure I grab some, and you can actually get them from Amazon as well. You can get them from Amazon or from um, Walmart, you can get them either or. And that's just some extra ribbon back there, some shipping tape. This is the, some Easter confetti stuff and I use that in my starter kits as well. Some extra cellophane wrap so I can wrap up my starter kits if I run out of cake boxes, I have cellophane wrap. Um, and then those are my little 
it's a little list that I put that has everything that comes in my starter kits and then some tips down there, like how to wash the tubes, etc. Um, I printed a couple of those out and those go in my starter kits as well. Um, this next drawer here, it says starter kits, syringe, pipette, and flavoring oil. So that's what's in this drawer. So this bag right here is where I have my little stuff that I use for measuring out my pigment. So I have like little cups, spoons, and everything's in its own individual bag just shoved in here. So it's a bunch of Ziploc bags with um, like one spoon, um, a little cup so I can do the measuring and yeah, that's it. Just a spoon in the measuring. And then I weigh my stuff whenever I'm doing those, if that makes sense. I hope that made sense. And then these are all my flavoring oils for my starter kits down here. So it's just a bunch of different flavors for you guys. Um, I already have my, uh, my squeeze tubes. These are eight millimeter, uh, squeeze tubes pre-bagged and for my kits I either do uh, 15 8 millimeter squeeze tubes or I do um, uh, 12 10 millimeter squeeze tubes depending on inventory but right now everything I have in stock is all 15 8 millimeters bagged up already pre-bagged and then I also pre-bag my pipettes like this as well and it's eight pipettes that you get in the starter kits if you guys get a starter kit with me um, so yeah I just keep that bagged up like that simple um, and then in this bottom drawer is where I have the majority of my actual shipping supplies. So I have my bubble mailers in here. These are six by 10 bubble mailers. The larger size I use is a six by 10. Um, and then these smaller ones here are um, four by eight. So they ran out of the bub butterfly bubble mailers and I get these from Amazon. You guys always ask me where I get these bubble mailers. I get them from Amazon, but there's, they're always selling out at the moment. They've been selling out really, really fast. So I wasn't able to grab any more of these. So I got these really beautiful like aqua blue, teal, whatever you want to call them. Bubble mailers, super cute as well. Um, and it looks super cute with my business card too. So I was like, why not? Mm -hmm. And I need to restock on my business cards. I actually have some coming in the mail. I already ordered them. So I just, and I just got my tracking number. So I, I should be getting my business cards very, very soon. I ordered, I think 300 of them this time. Then I have my fragile stickers for like my lip gloss base or my starter kits. These I get from Amazon as well. Um, just check the description box to see if what I linked in the description box. Cause I'm gonna do my best to link some of the products in the description box to help you guys out. Yeah, these are from Amazon. They're super affordable. Um, my organza bag i have them in two different sizes i have the smaller size for smaller orders and then i have this larger size for larger orders these are five by seven and these are i don't remember but i think they're three by fives i think they're three by fives but yeah i keep all of that stuff in there you guys super easy nice neat and organized I guess I'll show you what's up top first. So I have paper towel. I, these are, i use these um to like take product pictures um i believe i got this from the either the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree. If not, I got it from Ross. Um, and this as this one for sure, I think was from the 99 cent store then. Um, and then I have my disinfectant wipes up there. And then back here, I have hand sanitizer, of course. My 91% alcohol. This is just alcohol in the bottle. And then I have my scales back here. So this is the scale that I use whenever I measure my, um, it's all dirty, it has pigment all over it. But um, this is the scale that I use whenever I'm measuring out my pigments because it's more accurate. It weighs like grams. It weighs like really, really small ounces. So I like using this one for that. And I got this from Amazon as well. Um, and then I have this one. This is my larger scale. It's actually a kitchen scale, but I've been using this as my chip, my shipping scale and it goes up to 11 pounds. As of now, it's been working for me. I haven't had any issues with it. And I've had it since September and I still haven't had to replace the batteries, you guys. So that, I'm gonna try to link that in the description box as well for you guys. Um, and then up here, I have like my label makers. Um, these labels that I use like whenever I'm just labeling stuff when I'm organizing my business area in here I have my gloss pigments. So All my little beautiful gloss pigments in there for you guys I have that in this container already measured out. They're all four grams each if you guys get pigments They're four grams each. Um, I have earrings if you guys don't know I sell earrings and chokers So I have those in there. Um This drawer I keep my shades probably won't restock these exact styles, but I have some shades in there They're available on my website and as of right now, oops, go back in. Um, as of right now, sunglasses, accessories, all that good stuff is on a sale. So check out my website. I'll have a link in the description box as well. Um, and then up top, up here, I keep my lip gloss base in that box. I'm not gonna take it down. Uh, Pre-bagged lip gloss base, and I already have it wrapped up in the bubble mailers too, so they're ready to be shipped off. Um, 
whenever I have my starter kits put together, sometimes I put them in here. Um, that's why it says starter kits, but right now I just have the lip gloss base in here for my, that are set for my starter kits that I already have put aside. And then the items for the starter kits I have in here just mixed in, but I already have my inventory updated so I know how much I have um, in stock. This top drawer has pipettes and syringes. So my I use three millimeter pipettes for you guys who always ask me what size pipettes. They're three millimeters pipettes and then my syringes are 60 ml syringes they're 60 ml and i do have a stepping stool i just i usually have a stepping stool down here on the floor but i don't have it right here right now it's tucked away. i don't know where it is it's tucked away somewhere um but that's what's in this first drawer up here so pipette syringes on um, this next drawer is empty lip gloss tubes and gloss pouches so my, i have my wand tubes in here and i already i washed them and then i put them in these ziploc bags after i wash them um and then I have my my 10 ounce pouches, uh, my pouch caps. My eight ounce pouches are back there somewhere too. These are my squeeze tubes. And then the eight ounce pouches are back there as well. And then this next drawer here has my gloves, mask, and utensils. So I have my gloves. I, I got extra large, not because, I mean, my hands are big, but that's all they had in stock. That's why I got extra large. Um, I have my, my mask, my disposable mask. And I have these other, like, I think they're the 9 or N95 type masks. They're a little bit more durable than these kind. Um, and then I have some measuring cups to do measuring. I have my apron. I use this apron whenever I'm making my lip gloss now. Um, this apron I actually got from when I was in cosmetology school, but I use it for my business now. Um, and then I have, like, plastic spoons, plastic knives under there. And, yeah, that's all that's in that drawer. Um, and then this next drawer, I keep my plastic bowls. I mainly use these plastic bowls for whenever I'm, uh, if I'm mixing a new color, if I'm only making a small portion, I use this. But, yeah, that's what I use that for. I just realized I didn't finish showing you guys what's in these drawer, but I'm going to show you guys right now. And then these are the 3 by 4 Ziploc bags. I get these from Walmart as well. I use these uh, to put my pigments in it. There was a time they didn't have these. Like, they were fully sold out of these, so I got some smaller bags. Where are they? They're somewhere in here. Yeah, I had got these smaller bags, and there's still 4 ounces in them, but they're a lot smaller. So some of the some of the gloss pigments come in these smaller bags just because they were sold out. But this time I bought, like, 300 of these to make sure I didn't run out. At least for a while, I don't run out of those. Um, this next year I have my coconut oils, my vitamin E oil. My hydrated polyisobutene, you guys know I use that. When I was waiting for my oils to come in from TKB Trading, I got some from Amazon instead. This is the original coconut oil I used to use, but I started using the TKB Trading. But like I said, they were I was waiting for them to come in, so I got this one instead. This is vitamin E oil. Whenever you get vitamin E oil to put in your lip gloss, make sure that the vitamin E oil is only vitamin E oil because some of them will have like soybean oil and a bunch of other ingredients. But as you guys can see here, the only ingredient in this one right there is vitamin e that is it so it's super super thick super hydrating and it moisturizes skin really really good so i like to make sure that it's um you know just pure vitamin e and you guys always ask me like when does the lip gloss expire just be mindful the versagel has a actual life shelf if i'm not mistaken i think it's two to three years i think don't quote me but I think that's how long the VersaGel itself lasts. And then the oils that you put in it, most of the time they have an expiration date. So just double check what oils you're using to see if they have an expiration date. Um, if you guys noticed, I don't know if you guys did, but I'm going to show you. Or because I, I didn't show you, but the flavoring oils as well. Let me show you. Where is it? Yeah, the flavoring oil right there. Focus. Focus. Best by February 2023. So those have an expiration date on them as well. And you guys... I accidentally burnt my nail just now <laughs> when I was cooking, so that's why they look a little messed up. My bad, girl. Um, and then this next drawer has my pigments, my flavoring oils that I use to make my lip glosses, um, and then my lip liquids. I have all that stuff in this drawer right here. It looks a little messy, but it's fine. It does the job. Um, and then here I have my wand tube glosses in this drawer. So those are my wand tubes. And then I have my squeeze tubes in this drawer. And then back there, the ones that are in, in bags are the ones that come in sets. And then this last, last drawer is my pre-made lip gloss. I started using this one for my pre-made gloss since it's a larger drawer. It's like the largest drawer out of all the drawers I have besides these ones, but it's like taller. So I just stack up my lip gloss, my um, lip glosses in there, my pre-made glosses. Super simple. And yeah, that's how I have my little business area organized. Um, 
I don't know if this video was all over the place, but yeah, you guys, I hope that, you know, showing you my little setup, how I have everything organized is helpful. I can't, my microphone keeps falling, so I hope you guys are able to hear everything that I'm saying in this video. But yeah, I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Um, I know that I wasn't filming at the best angle, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of how I have my business organized. So hopefully it gives you guys some inspiration um, to organize your business. I look greasy as hell. Um, <laughs> hopefully it gives you guys some inspiration to organize your business. Um, and you know, you know my little vision board. I hope that inspired some of you guys, but uh, yeah, I love, I love, love, love making vision boards and I love um, writing down my goals and um, just speaking things into existence. That's why a vision board is so important to me because I have a visual of, um, you know, what I'm planning on accomplishment, accomplishing so that it feels more attainable whenever I can see it. Same thing with the money. That's why I have the money up there, you know, tangible cash on that wall. So I could see that every day when I wake up. That was such an ugly angle I was filming at. I'm sorry, you guys, but I hope this video at least helps one person inspire someone. If it does, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below, um, you know, if you guys are going to apply any of this organization to your business. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.